In this section, we're going to discuss how to add other computers and devices to our wireless network. We're going to do this using the manual method, Windows Connect Now, and WPS. Whichever way you choose to use depends on your personal preference and the wireless networking gear that you own. In our previous lesson, we were sitting at a computer that was already logged on to the wireless router's web interface. It was then just a simple matter of copying and pasting our encryption key into the Windows utility. And when we clicked on our wireless utility, all the wireless networks were available to us because their SSIDs were being broadcast. Well, it's not always that simple. What if you're sitting at another computer and you can't access the router's web interface and you can't simply copy and paste the security key? And what if the router's SSID is not being broadcast, instead it's hidden? Well, if that's the case, there's nothing to click on and we can't just simply double click and then copy and paste the encryption key into the interface and be done. When that's the case, we're going to have to use one of the other methods to connect to our wireless router. And that's the manual method, the Windows Connect Now method, and Wi-Fi protected setup. 